up beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl patsy sparkles and i'm back at it again today with a new video straight from my house and i'm excited because obviously you can see the title and i'm wearing a fall don't i look rich like the billionaire that i am <laughs> anyways guys i'm so excited about this video yeah i know that a lot of people might be like oh okay when you get to the uk it's no big deal you can always get your schengen visa but i know that i messed up okay okay so i'm going to make this video to tell you all the processes you need to go through and how not to mess up because i almost did not get it but you know what now my god never flop my god don't wear flip-flops so it cannot flop guys when i wanted to go and apply for this visa it's okay so i have two testimonies the first thing is schengen visa the application takes 50 at least 15 working days a lot of people told me oh it might take up to two weeks or oh, quickly apply before you go it is advice you apply like 30 days before you go my visa was issued in three days when i even saw that your passport is ready to be paid guys i literally genuinely thought i'd be refused until i went to pick it up i'm going to show you the video now guys hold the moment to be i'm scared i just went into my day box and i saw that my visa i mean my passport is back i was scared guys it was in two days i was like ah, did they reject it oh jesus Ouch. Oh. let's see since when i open my guys i swear to you i thought i wouldn't get it oh thank you jesus and when i picked this up and i saw that i was given the visa and i saw three months so first they gave me visa in three days they gave me three months visa and multi-entry now if you know spain spain gives people even people we have with permanent residency in uk me i'm only a student people with permanent residency they give them uh if you say you're going for two weeks they give you exactly two if you say you're going for three days they give you exactly three days visa so my jesus did it for me they gave me multi-entry so i can go to spain in the next three months anytime i like i can move from spain to another country you get it <laughs> if you don't get it forget about it why am i so excited guys literally you don't you don't you you probably wouldn't understand because this is my thing okay like so a lot of people will go um there's a system when you want to get this that oh the system works as long as you're in the uk you're a student blah 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 i know students that have requested that were still denied but you believe in the system i believe in jesus christ because hey as i was going guys i wanted to go and apply i first got down at the bus stop i was about to walk to the bls and i was like hey let me not apply for this thing they will refuse me because towards the end i saw a clause and my document was that major clause and they wrote it there that this consular i don't know why i didn't see it but the clause said this consular would not accept this social document and that was the document i wanted to go and submit so in my head i was like definitely i'm going to be refused i went to browse online i saw people with that same uh uh you know situation they were like oh don't don't go it's better not to go so that you don't spoil your travel history and I said, Jesus, Holy Ghost, you can't leave your girl hanging because I've spent money. I've already booked. I've paid. Ah. I said, well, this thing, it must do. <laughs> so anyways, now, I'm so sorry. Like, I just had to give the testimony because, yeah, the system works, but my God works faster. Okay, so now so that you don't make the stupid mistake I made, I'm going to tell you how I got this visa, all the processes so that you won't, you know, get stuck or be rejected or anything and how easy it really is so now the country that i applied to is spain okay so uh it's one of the schengen countries and mostly most of their uh, visa requirements all the schengen countries is actually the same so now this is the requirement as an international student in uk i don't know for other people but i think it's the same yeah especially for uk us canada if you're an international student you're a student in those countries it's very very easy to get your visa so the first thing you need is to go to 
uh, just type Spain visa. I went to blsspainvisa.com and they sent me to the website uh, of how to apply for my visa. So when you uh, go to the website, uh, BLS Spain, uh, they ask you to put your, your location. So I put my postcode and it showed me the, the closest BLS to me, to Bristol. So I'm in Bristol and the closest one to me was uh, London. So they picked London for me and I went ahead to fill the form. So now I'm going to just, you know, read from the form exactly what it asked for. So for the application form, it's going to ask you just like normal uh, application stuff. It's going to ask you for your name, for your surname, your family name, if you had another name. If not, if you have a national identity, you talk about your sex, your date of birth. They will ask you what type of document do you have. So there are ordinary passport, diplomatic passport, depending on the kind of passport you have. But I have ordinary passport. So I chose ordinary passport. You put your passport name uh, when it's going to expire. And then they will ask you, are you a resident of a country other than your country of nationality? And I chose yes. So I chose that. Yes, I'm a resident in the UK. And I, I put my uh, resident permit number when it's going to expire. And then they asked for my current occupation. Now, this part confused me. So there's this thing called stagiaria. <laughs> there's There was no like student straight there. Is it that intent? Stagiaria, I think, or intent. I think that means like you're learning, but it means student. So I chose that and it brought to me that I'm a, I'm a student. And then employer slash, uh, slash um, school name. I put my uni there. And purpose of my tourism, I put, uh, I mean, purpose of my visit, I put tourism there. So now they ask for number of entry requested. So a lot of people were like, mm, just choose one because they don't give more than one. But I just picked uh, multiple. I was like, mm, what's the worst that could happen? If you don't give me the multi, you give me the at least one entrance, no problem. So I chose multi. But before you fill your application form, you might have to book your hotel uh beforehand because they asked me like uh where i'm going to my invitation blah 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 so i put the name of the hotel that i'm, I'm going to that i booked i put the address of the hotel there and that's it and you know i signed and, and then they asked that cost of uh, uh of living of staying in the uk who is uh, going to be responsible for it you choose applicant myself like you choose applicant and also they ask for means of support. I said cash because there is transport. Maybe you're going to drive yourself. Uh, I mean, so they ask for means of support. There are, there are a lot of options there. There is cash, traveler's check, credit card, uh, you know, whichever, whichever. I chose cash because I don't have credit card. I don't have prepaid transportation. I don't have prepaid accommodation. I'm going to do everything by myself. Okay, so I just chose cash and that I am. Uh, sponsoring myself and that's it that's it for the application form okay now when you now finish filling the application form and you submit the bls website take you to getting your um okay so they show you supporting documents they ask you to check the supporting documents and when you check the supporting document if you're sure that okay you have it you go ahead to book your appointment now the only thing that took long was the appointment because I waited like two weeks before I could get appointment. Apparently, a lot of people were going to uh, to Spain or are going to Spain. So I, I waited for like 10 days before uh, the date of my appointment. So after I applied and booked appointment, I started to gather my uh, requirements. So the, it's going to send you a requirement form online. And the first thing now is, before I forget, all your documents, you have to print them out from the application form, the requirement form, and all the supporting documents asked for. You're going to print them in your paper copies and take them with you to the BLS Center. You're not uploading anything online. You will also need passport photographs. Right. Where, where my mistake it said the official visa application form, which was what I read to you. You will see there, Spain, it's written on it, Spain visa. That's your first form that should be ready. And then that's number one. 
the second one is your passport ordinary passport with following requirements because i said i'm going to be using my passport so my requirement on the passport is it has to be valid for 90 months which we already know like three months validation at least next thing is you have to take like for us in the uk you have to take your brp your brp card they won't collect it from you they're only going to take your passport to stamp the visa but you have to take your brp card they want to see it and they would photocopy it there at the um, at the bls uh center bls pin. is it bls or tls yeah bls yeah so there's tls so please don't forget that residency permit is very very important if you do not take it just take it you take it back with you but if you don't take it they would not accept your uh your application next one is no objection letter for international students you have to get the letter from school i don't know what how your school goes about here how other universities goes about it but my uni actually they took I please request fast especially if you are going in like i think if you want to do this application you should give yourself like one month before you apply because unis sometimes they can be slow for me my letter when i requested from school i sent a message to the uh, support center or what do we even call them <laughs> i sent a letter to them and they they, they uh, sent a message to them and they sent me a link to fill so for my information which country i'm going blah 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 and they wrote a letter but it took them like two weeks i think they even forgot because i had to call them ah, ah, what a lady was like oh she's so sorry that maybe something happened with the system that she has sent it she promised that she has sent it. i said she has not sent it anyways she sent it back like immediately so it took me like two weeks to get even though they say five working days but some unis i even heard it could take longer than that so make sure that you quickly request so you have to get a letter from school that's very very important and also the find the one with the clause where i almost hey god not where i almost where i i i i not even hear what they said is the proof of sufficient financial guarantee now you need your bank statement guys for this you have to get your bank statement from the bank not online bank statement so you're only first of all <laughs> i never use bank that has address i mean that the normal physical banks i use my monzo account okay first let me read the requirements so it said up to date original bank statement for at least three months certified by bank which clearly states periodic uh, income transfers salary blah 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 this they now underline you just because i saw proof of uh sufficient guarantee three months i'd not read the remaining clause he said this consular section would not accept bank statements from online banking as in they underline it i did not see for some weird reading i did not see it and then for your fund you have to have so you are requested you, ha you have to have 84 if you're going for three days so if you're going for two three four days for your bank statement you have to have 84 you have to at least have 84 pound per day but they said but you should have 760 per person regardless of the intended duration of stay so you can't calculate 84 pound times two or times three if you're staying for three days so you have to have at least 760 pounds in your account okay guys so let me tell you what i did before we go into it let me tell you what happened with my bank statement so i applied with my monzo account because they said three months i got to uk september in fact late september i opened my account every other account i opened was maybe november or late october so and i wanted to apply in december it was not going to you know it wasn't going to work so it says three months i <laughs> even my monzo it started reading from october now let's say october november december i applied in december and it was not up to december maybe 15 yet or 20. when did i even apply so my bank statement was not even up to three months and it was online so because monzo does not have a uh because monzo bank doesn't have their own personal space their own uh, physical banking area so i printed the document online they were like oh we are certified monzo is actually a certified bank 
you just have to request if you're using monzo request for your bank statement tell them to send you printed copy that is signed and stamped okay they can send it to you you have to request like maybe three or four days ahead if you're using monzo monzo is recognized as a certified bank in the uk so yes your bank statement is uh is okay but you need the printed document i mean i didn't read this so i didn't even, i just felt like oh monzo i'll print my account statement just one day or two days to go i now saw the clothes i was like what the hell and i started looking for all these uh online um group discussions and people were like oh it's not a good call to not to print the online form that because the bank stated i mean the embassy clearly stated that they don't want online bank statement so i was like oh my god i sent a message to monzo the day they sent the day they were supposed to send the letter i was already in london and i already had my appointment for my biometrics and i waited like two weeks before i before i could get that date so i didn't want to i didn't want to risk it i was just like okay let's see what happens so when i now got there the lady was like oh when i got to the bls and i wanted to submit like oh do you know that this consular does not accept online banking i said yes i said but you know monzo is an online bank so the only way you can get your statement is online and they said oh you can actually request for a bank statement that is stamped and so i was like okay this is really wrong like obviously it's not it, they don't joke with this and then she said do you know your account balance is not your account statement is not up to three months i was like woman just leave me like right now i've already told jesus that please do do what you can to help me just let me get this visa because i i just wanted to the good part the saving grace was that but please guys don't bank on this i'm not sure i know this is just god's grace to be honest but another thing that i thought was that because i scheduled payment for my uni for my tuition on my monzo bank i paid out from my monzo bank and you know the bank statement says they want to see your payment maybe from work or this thing so since they can link it and it is really really true that okay she goes to this uni that's just my human thinking because i didn't know why they gave me the visa but the lady was like you know what i'm just going to submit it this is going to be the consular's discretion then they said they need round trip uh round trip ticket booking your your flight ticket go come that you're going and coming <sighs> round <laughs> your flight ticket round trip i said go come then proof of accommodation your hotel even from the filling of the online form, you know that's very, very important. So you have to have your proof of ad ac uh, uh, um, your proof of accommodation. So, and finally, you have to have an overseas travel insurance. Now, me for the travel insurance, I got mine with uh, AXA, the Schengen Travel uh, Insurance Certificate, and this is what it looks like. This is what my travel insurance looks like okay so i got it with axa and i paid 28 pound for you it. it showed 30 pound but by the time i checked out it was 28 pound i was like oh okay so guys this is like literally all i did no payment for agent or anything i just filled everything online took all the document they asked me to all the requirements printed everything it's gonna even show that when you when you fill your form it's going to send you the requirements documents you have to print it out check it yourself and yes you have to take passport photograph i forgot 10 pound you used to take four pictures but anyways don't forget please take your passport photograph so what's the total amount that i spent i think i said it in the in the previous video but i spent 113.45 for the application for the total application with your dhl and all that i paid 30 pound for the um insurance so that's about 150 already okay that's 28 pound but we are going to be rounding up uh then i paid 24 pound for my flight ticket uh with ryan here my round triple 24 pound but you can only carry small bag those nonsense trip because they are cheap you not read everything it's only school bag that i can carry if i want to pay with that but obviously it's not like i want to go and live there i wanted to just spend two or three days 
and yeah so that's like 170 what else did i pay for the passport 10 pound that's 180 yeah i think that's it that's how much i didn't i get i got my uh spain visa with less than 200 pounds okay so i hope this video has helped and i'll see you guys in spain or wherever it is <laughs> that we'll be seeing you next peace guys